Good morning, it's the Frugal Travelista, and I'm in Harare, Zimbabwe. I'm in Zimbabwe! And I'm staying at the It's a Small World Backpackers Lounge. And this video is all about the lounge. I hope you enjoy it. called it's a small world backpackers lounge literally it's a backpackers hostel in Zimbabwe all right I've never hosteled in uh, Africa before and I think hosteling in Africa is really not as common as it is in Europe probably because well I'm not sure why but it's just not and so I'm in Harare Zimbabwe which is a big major city and they only have one hostel in the whole city. And I'm staying at it. And the people are lovely. And the grounds are pretty nice. You can see these. They're old. It's an old hostel. So if, you, if you're not aware, um, Zim ha is going through a major, is going through a major economic crisis right now. Look at this thatch roof. So I saw these thatch roofs on houses in South Africa too. They're very common and it's really cool. Like people pay lots of money to have these. I mean, they used to be just traditional so people weren't like paying for them, they make their own. But uh, people pay for them now because they have a lot of utility and they last for years. And I think you can get them done for pretty affordably. But like I've seen brick and mortar homes in really nice neighborhoods with these kinds of roofs because they're beautiful and I think they really do a good job. Anyhow, back to my story about hostling in Zimbabwe. So if you weren't aware, Zim has been through, is going through a major economic crisis right now. So I'm visiting Zimbabwe after spending about a month and a half in South Africa. And I was actually really surprised at how outdated and run down this hostel was being that it's in the capital city of Harare and Zimbabwe is the country just is one country just adjacent to South Africa and it's used to be called the breadbasket of all of Africa because of how wealthy the country was and how fertile the agricultural land was and how highly educated the citizens were I mean it really was like one of the jewels of Africa and so I kind of expected after leaving South Africa to come to something comparable in Harare. But as you can see, and as you will see in this video, the accommodations are actually pretty uh, dated and run down. And that has to do with the shift in the economy. Here's the good news. The people are awesome. And they actually have events in these places. So last night um, they were showing a movie here. They had a projector positioned on this table and those pillows there people were sleeping on or laying on and it was really cool and it wasn't a movie for the hostel guests it was a movie for the community it's somebody's hustle like somebody was charging ten dollars ten bucks to come here sit on those pillows and watch a movie on that projector that's expensive in my mind ten bucks i mean but people were paid it they had a full house and so that's the kind of stuff that like you know, that's the flair, the Zimbabwean hustle flair, I guess, they got going on. People rent out spaces in old hostels in order to charge $10 a head to show a movie. But aside from that, the space, like the the grounds are like really pretty. You can see all this, these trees, the grass. I think back in the day, it was probably very like elegant because it has a pool, these thatch roofs, uh, some of the rooms are really decent i'm staying in the dorm room which is probably the least and these are my humble accommodations i'll show you my bunk yep that's where i'm staying it's not super nice but the people are super sweet and there are a lot of people here. It's like pretty sold out, actually. I thought I was going to be staying in a 
a little RV. They have an RV outside. And I thought I was going to rent that. But only one door opens. So I couldn't get my stuff inside. So I, and it was, it was more expensive. So I decided to go the cheaper route and just, uh, no problem. So, you know, I'm not mad. After all, I am the frugal child Easter, right? And Zimbabwe is actually extremely expensive. They use the U.S. dollar because they have a economic crisis going on for the, it's been going on for the last several years. So I'm actually really interested in saving as much money as I can while I'm here. So. So, it's hard to see because the light's bad. But when I talk about old, this is what I mean. Let me show you. So. But, like, even though it's old, it is actually really clean. And I'm only paying $14. With, like, all their technology out here, no problem. That is huge. So, I actually think this place is well worth coming and dealing with the dated facilities. Because your stuff is going to be safe. You're going to feel safe. Um, which I, I did feel last night, my first night here. And the people go out of their way to make you feel comfortable. And at night they light a fire here, so it's actually very cool. It's nice and homely feeling. It gets cold, so the fire is helpful. outdoor shower <laughs> literally truly no it's really an outdoor shower that's how it was uh, advertised to me yesterday I don't know if that uh, may be where the water comes from and then here's everything else oh yeah <laughs> that's the shower head get your outdoor shower on boom 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 So the other reason I decided to select this place, not just because of price, but also because on their website, they had this little RV advertised as a place to stay. You see that cute little RV? And I could rent it for $24 a night if I wanted. And so I was like, yeah, obviously I'm gonna stay there. So I came with the idea that I was gonna stay in this RV, but, when I went to go inside, I don't even know if it's open right now. No, it's locked. They opened it for me last night. The bummer is that the only door that works is this driver's side door. So I had to like crawl over the seat to get back there. And I couldn't get, that means I couldn't get my bag in there. Like I'd have to force it. And it's not just a single bed. It's three beds. So it's like nothing but bed space. So I really, you can't like stand up. I mean you can stand up but it's not really it wasn't as spacious as I thought it was going to be. <laughs> but I would have loved it. I would have been so happy to stay in here if I could like at least oh sorry. Somebody's staying in there. No wonder. It was locked. Somebody else is staying there. I did not know that. Okay. Well I won't be messing with these people anymore. It's time for me to put up my camera. Okay. Frugal travelies to here over and out. So, sorry about the abrupt end to that video. There was actually a man sleeping in the RV and I didn't know that when I tried to open the door. Um, he must have heard me trying to open the door and then heard me like walking around the RV and talking. And so he popped up and opened the window and looked at me like, what are you doing? And I was like, oh, sorry. <laughs> I guess the hostel must have rented it out after I declined it. I just. I didn't know there was somebody in there so that's why i abruptly ended the video because i was a little embarrassed and so 
Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this tour of the It's a Small World Backpacker Lounge in Harare, Zimbabwe. Like I mentioned earlier, I do recommend it. It's um, dated, but it is safe and the people are amazing. So over and out.